Hello there, everybody. Welcome to some Star Wars Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. Also called Dark Forces 2, sometimes Jedi Knight, depending on who you're talking to. It doesn't really matter. It's this game. So, yeah. I have played through this on my channel before. Um, I made it pretty far into the game, but I had um, some horses get out at my old house I used to live at, so I had to go take care of that. That was not fun. I also just really wasn't feeling it, you know? So, either way, this is going to be a revamp of that series I worked on initially. So, yeah. I really do like this game a lot. It is not my favorite FPS game, and it's not even my favorite Star Wars game. That belongs to Bounty Hunter, like, hands down. <laughs> That's the best. Um, but this was the first PC game I ever played, and the first FPS game I ever played. So, I have a lot of nostalgia for it. Um, but I'm not going to say it's a great game. It's fun, but it's incredibly frustrating, and it's very jank. But, you know, looking back at it, it was a great title. And, um, yeah. So I have a couple of things i got to get out of the way. This game is a pain to record. It's also incredibly hard to get running on modern systems. I actually have a Voodoo Glide Wrapper um, tool to basically tell it, hey, this is what it should be because it doesn't like my graphics card that I put in because it's old and finicky and weird. So, yeah, I just put together this new PC. So I was like, What's, let's see how this works. Um, and this was one of the first games I test on it every time. So, anyways. I'm also not going to be showing the cutscenes because they contain copyrighted material. And as proxy, I'm also not going to be putting in the music. I mean, it's the same five or six John Williams, like, loops you've heard a thousand times in every Star Wars game and every Star Wars media ever. You're not really missing much. Personally, I prefer the game without the soundtrack anyways because it kind of gives it more gritty, iffy feeling. Which I always think is really cool. So I'm not really worried about that. I mean, like I said, you, you've heard these songs a thousand times. It's not anything new. You're not going to lose sleep over not hearing the Imperial March one more time. So, yeah. Also, if you want to watch the cutscenes, I'd recommend watching them on your own time. They're actually quite enjoyable. Um, they're cheesy, but they were actually pretty cool for the time. I mean, it's not bad. It just looks like a really bad Star Wars like production in a good way. Um, so, yeah. Oh, oh boy. <clears throat> this game is just impossible to get running on modern operating systems. I'm amazed I got as much as I got into it um, so far just to record it. Because I played through the game twice recently. Um, I also did it with just blasters a little bit. But, uh, yeah. I didn't have to do all this stuff for that. I did it for just recording because it's a giant pain. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. So this, all the menus in the game are separate from the actual, like, hooking things for Bandicam. So there might be some weird cuts here and there, but when it happens, you'll probably know. Um, it's mainly just in the menus. So either way, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright. And we're in the game. Look at this. Look at this game. Look at this man. What's happening? Yeah, what's happening, man? I know, right? So this game is pretty good. That's all I can say. It's not my favorite FPS game of all time, but like I said, it's very nostalgic to me. So and man, when I saw this, it scared the hell out of me. Oh man, look at this thing. It's a grave Tuscan, I know what it's called. Um but look at those polygons, man. Look at that. You can tell that's a hand. It's got, like, definition and shit. And you can shoot the sign and it breaks. And, oh, it's so cool. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, essentially, this game is just not really an FPS. It's a little bit of a hybrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always cause trouble. So that because this game's also incredibly finicky with its audio, I have to, like, constantly check it on my end to make sure it's not overpowering me. So, yeah. The game does start out just like Dark Forces 1, which I haven't finished. I've played through it a little bit, but I always just sort of stop. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it starts out as an FPS, and it's totally doable um, to play the game through like an FPS. I've actually been 
you know, having a good old time just doing that for fun on my own free time here, but for the most part, we're going to be playing through as a light Jedi and not a dark Jedi. You notice I said dark Jedi because I know there's a difference. And uh, just to get it out of the way, um, I personally don't like Star Wars as much as I used to. Um, I have not seen the new films because I think they're just a little corporate and hackney and I don't... I don't know. I, I really don't want to like them. Um, and it's not because I'm a dick. It's just, I don't really like them. They just went a huge step backwards. Oh god. Um, that was a mistake. This game is incredibly slippery to control. I can't really explain it. It's one of those games you have to play for yourself to feel it. But, basically, I, I know these are Grands. I know those, are, those green things are Rodanes. I know they're not just called Greedos, okay? I know that. I know that this is a Stormtrooper rifle that Kyle Katarn uses a modified by our rifle. So I know, like, that green blasters are stronger than red blaster fire. I, I, like, I know all this, okay? Like, I'm not dumb. I just... I personally lost interest in Star Wars after Episode 3, and that's about it. But this game came out way before the prequel trilogy was out, and it's... It's very pure. That's how I look at it. Like, I know that's a gonk droid. I know those are, like, you know, whatever. I know that Nar Shadda is not Coruscant. I know that, like, the, the, whatever it is, it's called Galactic Basic, is what humans speak, and it's, uh, Arabalesh or whatever it's called for, um, the text over there on the wall. So I know a lot about Star Wars, but I would not call myself a diehard Star Wars fan. Um, because personally, I mean, it's not my favorite medium. It's got some of my favorite games, but that's about it. I really don't have a lot of nostalgia for, um, like, anything else except this game and Bounty Hunter, if that makes you, uh... Actually, I did get Star Wars Destruction when I was a kid, which, or sorry, Demolition, which, oh man, I wish I still had that. It was, uh, very interesting. So anyways, yeah, we're gonna be playing through as a light Jedi because light Jedi is a lot easier. Um, it's also the canon ending of the game. It also is just a lot more fun. I mean, when you go through as a dark Jedi, um, this is not like later titles in the series, by the way. Later titles let you select um, dark and light powers. Like, you can have force lightning in Jedi Academy and force healing. This game doesn't let you do that. Um, if you try that halfway through the game, it goes, uh, you've been seduced by the dark side. You got seduced by them big old titties. And then the game says no. And you also will not be able to get the, like, dark side, uh, I think it's called, like, malevolent gaze or something like that. Just like you can't get, um, force, uh, protection if you're having light and dark, so... Pick a side and choose it and stay with it, and that's it. So, for the sake of my own sanity, I'm just going to be playing through as a light Jedi because it's easier. Um, and like I said, this game is totally doable as an FPS just by itself. And it is very, very difficult. Um, just the puzzles are obtuse. Well, actually, I take that back. The puzzles in this game are fine compared to Mysteries of the Sith, which, goddamn, the puzzles in that game are just outright fucking sadistic. So, um, well, they're not really sadistic, but they're just, oh my god. They're one of the, it's, it's a different time of gaming, that's all I gotta say. So, I will explain why I'm not getting some secrets right now. It's because right now, getting secrets is negligible because I have no Force abilities yet. Um, if I had Force abilities, I'd be looking a little bit harder for secrets. I do know where a lot of them are, um, hence why I'm going over here first, so... What the hell? Um, enemies do respawn in some areas, particularly only in the first couple levels, which is odd. Um, so, yeah. Basically, I mean, like, it's not really worth your time to go for secrets right now. Um, but later on it is, because they give you more force stars, which let you upgrade your force abilities earlier. But it's really not a huge deal. You're not gonna lose the game if you don't. So, why are they just jiggling around? Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.